In this tutorial, you'll learn how to draw an iMac style computer. First thing we'll do is select the rectangle primitive tool. With this selected, we're going to draw a nice rectangle. For this rectangle, we don't need a stroke color. So we can just go to stroke color and go over here and click on the no color. You should see a red. And for the fill, we want a white and we'll draw a nice rectangle whatever size is good for you now the corner radius for this is set to 20 and that's a little too great so I'm gonna bring up the properties and change the corner radius I have it locked I'm gonna change it to 10 10 seems to be a number that works I don't need this anymore and inside of that I'm going to make another rectangle and I'm going to leave about a, uh, I would say more than tw maybe about 20 percent of space inside of the previous rectangle this new rectangle I just drew I want to color it black Now with this back, okay. And this is about right. I think I can make it a little bit bigger. Get closer to the edges. I pre I selected it and pressed Q for free transform. Yeah, and that's about right. And we'll go back to the toolbar, and we want to select a rectangle tool. Um, and we'll just draw the rectangle on top of this. If we draw the rectangle on top of this, we won't be able to see it because when you use the rectangle primitive tool, you make the tools as o you make the shapes as objects. And objects are almost like movie clips or anything group. So what we can do, we can draw it and then select it and do all this type of stuff. Or we can simply go here and object draw and click on that. And we want to change the fill to a blue. Uh, this looks good. A blue like so. I'm just gonna I haven't been aligning things I'm just gonna line everything that I need to align horizontally for now okay so everything's perfectly aligned make sure your two stage is selected now this doesn't exactly look it does but it needs it's missing something and what that thing is missing is most Macs I, I, I use or seen all have this funky looking background. Since it's an object, what you're going to have to do is double click on it, and that way you will be able to edit. And I'm going to take the new line tool, and I'm just going to go from one corner to just away from the corner. Okay. Oh, you want to turn off object drawing. We don't want this to be an object. If it's an object and we don't want it, we can select it and hit control B that will break it into an editable object okay and from that same corner we'll draw another line and that seems to be good we're gonna use our selection tool and holding shift we'll select every other uh, break inside of this pattern we just created and we'll go to color and we'll bring down the uh, contrast on this a little to a darker color. Uh, I, find, I think this is good. I'm going to highlight the entire shape, lasso it, and then go to the f stroke color and go to no, sh no color, which will remove all the stroke. We don't need it anymore. Now we'll just double click on um, on some empty part of the screen and now you can see that this uh, 
this background really brings out this computer type look let me go back into it and, uh, and alter it I'm just gonna double click with my selection tool and when you go right to the edge of a shape you you see this uh, this curve line under your mouse and we want to do that we're gonna use this curve to alter we don't want these straight lines we want them to be curved a little bit for an effect uh, some of you might like that straight up straight effect but I like a little okay so we pretty much have the the fundamental shape of the Mac now this bottom our original rectangle I'm going to select it I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste in place now it's on top of our original all everything so we're going to double click on it and it's going to come up with this foreground window it's alright you just press OK and now we can edit it in any way we'd like and this is the whole point so we're going to use our lasso tool we're going to come from the corner and bring ourselves up maybe a little bit more than halfway and with it selected we're going to delete it and now we're going to uh, go to the about the center and until we get that curve line mouse with the selection tool and we're going to bring it up to give this this nice little curve here we'll select it go to color and for the fill we'll, we want it white and we want our alpha to be let's say 40 percent let's see how that looks now now you can see that shine that it has on it that most of these style icons have another thing that is missing is it has usually some the Apple logo but yeah that's I'm pretty sure that's copywritten so I'm gonna go to the oval tool and just put a circle there Oh, let me change the fill to black and before I put it on there I'm gonna use control G and so and I'm just gonna highlight the whole thing the whole structure that we built and I'm gonna hit control G put it all together Q to free transform I'm gonna hold shift to keep its uh, scale together a little bit smaller and I'm gonna go over here to the uh, rectangle primitive tool and I'm gonna make this this base for it uh, for the color I'm gonna go with a linear color and I already set this color up it goes from black to the light gray to a um, in between white and black to a total white and I found this color works pretty well okay so I'm gonna select that what I just this rectangle I just made press F for the gradient tool uh, maybe is it acting up okay let me go to V for the selection tool it's gonna give me that gun press OK and this is what we want um, now with the object selected I'm going to press F for the gradient tool. We're just going to play with it a little. And that's exactly what we want. Now um, hitting Control Up will bring your grouped picture of the Mac to the foreground of your new stand that you just created. Uh, with the stand, I'm going to control B to break. So now it's totally editable. Uh, and I'm going to hit Q. And what I want to do is widen the base. So I'm going to hold one of these corners, hold Shift. I'm going to hold Alt. And I'm going to hold Control. And that's going to get me to widen the base a little bit to give me this dress like. Style. This is what I want. Bring it 
down some. And last but not least, I will draw a rectangle here at the bottom to to show like the stand is right in front of your face. Uh, I'm gonna go with a light gray. I'm gonna use my line tool, center it to the stage, bring it up. And it cuts off a little bit of my stand. I'll just remove that. And I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to group the whole thing. And that's it. There goes, uh, there goes a Mac. Let me center that. Center that. And that's how you draw uh, a Mac icon. This is Worf. Thanks for watching on Enter Learn.